Our man Lance Beeser has more from the Kansas Speedway. We had a relatively smooth ride here at the Kansas Speedway today. No major wrecks and only five cautions. In the end, we had a two-time winner here in Victory Lane and a defending champion atop the point standings. Tony Stewart had the dominant car early, but halfway through the race, Greg Biffle made a few car adjustments. Greg Biffle, his seventh chase win. And I'll tell you, those last two runs, it was uh, it was amazing. I mean, it was a you know, literally the best car I've ever driven here. You know, I could drive anywhere on the racetrack, and it was uh, pretty incredible. That incredible car gave Biffle his second win at Kansas, but the real story is who finished second. Jimmy Johnson did not lead a lap, but he now leads the point standings. It's a great position to be in, but it's way too early to think about it and to worry about defending. You just can't put your guard down. doesn't matter if it's qualifying the race. Um, until that checkered flag falls um, at Homestead, it's going to be anybody's championship. That includes Carl Edwards. The Columbia native jumped up to fourth with a sixth-place finish today. I had to be careful not to drive with my heart too much today. You know, seeing this crowd, the size that it is, and knowing how many people came here to support me, it's very, very difficult not to throw caution to the wind, but I, I knew for the points I couldn't do that. 53 points out of the lead. I feel better about that race with Jeff now. I'm glad we didn't wreck. I didn't know we were 53 out. That's good. Jamie McMurray finished 11th today. Clint Boyer was 15th. Neither local driver appeared all that happy after the race. They both declined interview requests while bolting the garage area. As Boyer's PR guy put it, Clint had left the track and was in the air faster than you can say. Cheerios. From the Kansas Speedway, Lance Fieser, NBC Action News.